The Polaris Thermal Imaging Site boasts a range of impressive features which make the unit a versatile hunting tool designed to meet the standards of even the most demanding professional. Today, I'm going to take you through the features. A few quick details will get you up and running and out into the night. Looking at the site, you can see the lens cap, objective lens, objective focus ring, and eyepiece with its focus. All Polaris models come with two rubber eye cups, which are easily removable. To permanently fix them, carefully use a drop of superglue here and here. Be careful not to glue the eyepiece focus ring. On the bottom, we have the rail mounting sockets to mount the included rail. The rail requires a full-length Picatinny or Weaver rail. The battery compartment is on the top and the USB-C and video out ports are on the side here. On the other side is the one touch button, which you'll use to control every aspect of the unit. The one touch button greatly reduces the chances of pressing the wrong button at night, which is very common with other devices. This also improves ease of operation with gloves during colder conditions. Each direction, up, down, left, right, and middle, triggers a different function. A short press and a long press of any direction will deliver a different function. In this way, you can access 10 different functions quickly. You will love this feature. To turn the device on, long press the middle button. A short press right will toggle through the magnification options. A long press right will turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Enable Wi-Fi is required to download your captured videos to your PC or to stream your footage to the free Konatec app. A short press down will switch the reticle type. Polaris R models are equipped with a stadiometric rangefinder, which allows the user to estimate approximate distance to an animal of known size. Long press down and you will see measurement bars, two reference animals and their respective distances. Press up and down to move the upper horizontal bar until the object fits entirely between the two lines. Then, press the middle button to select your chosen reference animal. The distance to the object will now display in the status bar. And if you have saved three different zeroing distances in the profile, you will see yellow crosshair on your reticle, suggesting the aiming point accordingly. The device automatically calibrates the sensor when needed, but you also can manually calibrate the sensor through a short press left. A long press left will open the media mode. In media mode, select photo or video and press the middle button to take a photo or record respectively. Another press of the middle button will pause the recording. Long press left to exit media mode when you're finished. Please note, the device does not record audio. A short press up will cycle through the six color palettes. You can see the color palette, magnification and other settings such as the zeroing profile and battery life on the status bar in the lower part of the display. The site takes two off-the-shelf 18650 rechargeable batteries and will run up to eight hours. It is important to use batteries that are shorter than 66 millimeters. Please do not use excessive force trying to close the battery compartment. The compartment will close easily with batteries that are the right length. A long press up opens the main menu. When in the main menu, long press the up button to return to the previous menu. Press the up or down button to select between the menu options. Press the left or right button to change the settings. First is the calibration settings in which you can manually calibrate the sensor, repair pixels, or set the auto calibration to on or off. Jumping back, the display modes are preset image settings. Toggle through and see which one you like the most. However, we recommend using option D 
user mode in order to be able to change the display settings. Here, change the OLED brightness, contrast, sharpness and image brightness based on your current environment to get the best image quality. When under A, B or C display modes, you can only adjust the OLED brightness. In zeroing profile, you have the choice of five different profiles, so you can sight in different calibers and loads. Select one of the zeroing profiles with a short press left or right. Under the menu zeroing, you need to set a zeroing distance first by pressing the right button. Please note, the first distance you set will be your center reticle. Set the value for each digit with the up and down buttons. Switch between the digits with a short press of left or right button. Press the middle button to save the new distance. Press right to select the distance. Then press right again to jump into the zeroing parameters setting. Here we recommend using the one shot zero freeze function. To do so, take a shot, then keep the point of aim, select the freeze option by pressing right. This will freeze the image, then go to windage elevation. Press the right button, then move the small yellow crosshair to your impact. To save, short press the middle button. When zeroing your Polaris, we recommend storing at least three set distances to take advantage of the automatic ballistic calculation. Through an algorithm, this will show a yellow crosshair according to the distance you range with the Integrated Laser Rangefinder or Stadium Metric Rangefinder. This feature will greatly improve your accuracy as well as target identification at night. When zeroing is finished, the 100 digits of the distance you set will be displayed with small numbers on the reticle. Please ensure to properly shut down your device or zeroing settings may not be saved. Under reticle settings, you can select various reticle designs and colors based on your personal preference. The exact reticle parameters in MOA and centimeters can be found in the manual. Under system settings, you can set the units of measurement to metric or imperial. When mounting your Polaris, use at least two screws to mount the rail to the device, ensuring the quick release levers are tensioned enough. This is a must for high caliber recoil. With the levers open, tighten the screw on the opposite side so there is enough tension on the levers that you can't open them again without some force. We also recommend you overlap the levers for less chance of them opening again. If properly mounted, the sight will return to zero. A short press of the middle button will toggle standby, while a long press will power down the device. Please hold the button until the screen turns off, otherwise you risk setting the device into standby which eventually drains the batteries. Before packing away your device, give it a clean to remove moisture, dust and dirt and check that the battery compartment is empty. If you plan on transporting the device while not mounted, pack it up in its original hard case. If you have any questions after watching this video, give us a call, we're here to help. And if you feel ready, get out there and experience the advantage of your new precision optic. Kona Tech. Nothing is invisible.